Okay guys, so what, when, where, how and why? I'm actually in London. The reason I'm here is not to go out for a day out, it's actually to see my mum who's in the hospital in St Thomas's, which is just behind me. That's this thing. That's St Thomas's hospital, she's in here. Hopefully she'll be coming out within the next day or two. Um, I come up here for a timed appointment because you can only come up for one hour and you have to book it in advance. And unfortunately she's having a procedure, so my advance time's a bit out the window at the moment. So of course whilst I've got an hour to spare, it gives me a bit of time to wander around, get something to eat. I mean it is sort of half one-ish um, and I'm a bit hungry so try and find something to eat. So I'm now standing by the National Covid Memorial Wall. It's also a BSE Memorial Wall which I think it started out as a few years ago. Um, and now as you can see there's hearts everywhere. Everyone's put names down and loving memory of people that they've lost or people that they've known or just generally for people in general. Um, you know, people have put their love to all the victims of COVID, other people have put their names and family members. So I think it's a brilliant idea and it looks lovely. Hey, come here, what's wrong with your drink? What's wrong with your drink? It's a lovely drink, and you can want it. Take it, you're not thirsty, are you? Okay, so I've just spoken to the dog that belongs to the people that own this huge, great big building, which is County Hall, City Hall, as it used to be. Um, the lady's filming the dog for the people that own the little restaurant, and she's sort of looking after it and sort of doing a vlog for the dog itself, which is quite nice. Um, the only thing I didn't forget did sort of forget to ask the name of the dog but lovely sort of dog anyway and also of course as it's still not into May we're not quite there to open in all the attractions so a lot of things like Shrek's Adventure behind me, the London Dungeon, Sea Life Centre, all of those things are actually still closed unfortunately but they'll open in the summer but of course everywhere I go and right next to the Shrek Adventure and the uh, City Hall and across from the Houses of Parliament is a Build-A-Bear Centre you lucky I've got cuddles in the back of the bag. So I suppose I can't walk past or walk to a Build-A-Bear Centre or Build-A-Bear Workshop without getting something, and as he's with me. Um, yeah. It's gone a bit yodery. <laughs> so I found something to eat. I've managed to get myself a nice chocolate milkshake some very nice hot chips and a bleeding great hot dog but there's a fair few pigeons around trying to get it and I think I'll save some of the bread I'll take it for the squirrels put it on bread yeah, don't bite my finger yeah I've only all I've got is this yeah hey and that I've switched to using the GoPro um, just because it's a little bit easier and a little bit simpler to handle and hold with the squirrel because the squirrel's a bit small and a bit jittery and he's not overly keen when you sort of like try to sort of touch him or sort of feed him so Okay, so I'm going to go and see if the hospital's ready yet, if she's available yet. Um, just had a quick look at the Marriott Hotel because it looks quite interesting. So there's Big Ben and two beef eaters standing by the door to the entrance to the Marriott Hotel. So the joys of travelling on the underground where it's always quite hot and stuffy and you're wearing a mask, which makes it even more hot and stuffy and how uncomfortable can you be with a mask? Oh well, at least I've updated the signs. So as I said, I'm up here. Whilst I'm up here, I've got other bits and bobs I could do. Rather than just going up to the hospital and then coming straight home again, I might as well have a look around and see what else is about, see what's worth taking pictures of. I haven't brought a specific photography camera with me today. It is purely just this, the vlogging camera, but we're in Chelsea, lots of very nice cars, and um, let's have a look.
So I've managed to find my way to the Range Rover farm. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I would say at least 12 Range Rovers here in just one street. Lovely. As if they're all going to be going off road, eh? Of course, it is a weekday, it's not a Saturday, so on the weekends you tend to see more supercars and more flashy cars about. On the weekdays, you tend not to see just as many, but still a fair few. So, I do really love the look of the new Harvey Winnicles windows. Obviously, it's reopening time after the Covid shutdown. They've just reopened and they've done a really good job, I think. I was about to say, I've not even seen a G-Wagon all day, and then there's two. I didn't even notice them turn around, and then there's a normal one. Well, no. An AMG, and behind that, a Brevis. Thanks for watching, if you liked the video please hit the like button down below, if you want to subscribe hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I upload my next video, and thanks again, bye bye.